What's up friends? Welcome to the Scrap Trawlers channel where we do EDH on a budget. Today we're coming at you with a new series called Trawler Tech, where we do deck techs for less than 50 bucks. And for this episode we're enchanting just about everything, with one of the new commanders from Commander Legends 2. Commander's Revenge. It's Mazzy. True Sword Paladin. Mazzy is a Naya commander that gives plus 2, plus 0, oh, and trample to enchanted creatures that are attacking our opponents. And whenever an aura we control goes to the graveyard, Mazzy exiles it and lets us cast it until the end of our next turn. Timing restrictions still apply. So, how are we going to win with Mazzy? Our main route to victory will be combat. We'll be enchanting our own creatures to pump them our opponent's creatures to take them out of commission, and also making a token army to swing to victory. We're powering up our creatures with Eidolon of Countless Battles, All That Glitters, Ethereal Armor, and Sage's Reverie. Each of these will get our creatures swole, and with the trample from Mazzy, none of that damage goes to waste. Here's some of the creatures we're looking to enchant. Hero of Eros, Hero of the Nyxborn, Gatherer of Graces, and Willowgeist. Hero of Eros gets a permanent boost whenever he gets enchanted, and Hero of the Nyxborn will temporarily pump all of our creatures' power by one whenever it gains a new aura. Gatherer of Graces has a passive boost for each aura attached to her, and a built-in sacrifice outlet for your auras that doubles as protection. And Willow Geist gets a power boost whenever Mazzy's second ability triggers from an aura moving from graveyard to exile. We don't want to rely on just a few beefy creatures. We need a full army. So let's make some tokens with a Johnny's Chosen, Archon of Sun's Grace, Chishiro the Shattered Blade, Sigil of the Empty Throne, and Quintorius Field Historian. The majority of these will give us a free token whenever we cast an aura or drop one on the field, with Chishiro also pumping our enchanted creatures. Quintorius also lets us benefit from Mazzy's Exile ability, giving us a 4-2 spirit whenever one of our auras gets exiled. For even more violence, we're throwing in Aki Battle Squad, Oratog, and Rayov Master Smith. The squad gives our enchanted creatures an additional combat phase, which will trigger Mazzy's pump ability a second time. Oratog is another sack outlet for enchantments which can be used to pump it sky high after it gains trample. And Rayov will give any of our enchanted attackers double strike, which makes Mazzy's trample effect even stronger. Last we have Fuming Effigy, which pings each opponent for one damage whenever an aura leaves our graveyard thanks to Mazzy. It's a nice way to get in those last points of damage without having to go to combat. For mana advantage we have Danitha Capuchin, Paragon, Hero of Eros and Transcendent Envoy to reduce the cost of our auras. Moving to creature auras, we have Nature's Embrace, Sticky Fingers, Shiny Impetus, and Ordeal of Nylia. Nature's Embrace can be used on a creature for pump later in the game, or for more mana early on. Sticky Fingers gives evasion to a creature and cantrips, while also giving us a treasure when the creature deals damage to a player. With Menace and Trample, this should happen often. Shiny Impetus can go to Creature, removing a potential blocker, making a bigger threat when boosted by Mazzy, while also giving us a treasure. Ordeal of Nylia is an all-star here, permanently pumping a creature and ramping whenever it's sacrificed, and we can recast it with Mazzy to trigger the ramp over and over again. There's also a suite of land enchanting auras in Fertile Ground, Grafted Growth, New Horizons, Trace of Abundance, Weirding Wood, and Unbridled Growth. The majority of these will allow a land to tap for more than one mana. Grafted Growth and New Horizons can also pump creatures. Unbridled Growth doesn't net us any additional mana, but it does some very absurd things with Mazzy, which we'll get to in a second. Enchantment decks are well known for their draw power, but some Enchantress effects are a bit outside of our budget. Luckily, we still have quite a few. We've got Eidolon of Blossoms, Mesa Enchantress, Seder Enchanter, Sram Senior Edificer, Sithis Harvest's Hand, Enchantress's Presence, and Season of Growth. All of these will let us draw a card whenever we cast an aura or whenever one enters the battlefield. We also have Rite of Harmony, which gives us a one-shot way to draw a lot of cards in a turn, and Sage's Reverie, which will draw a card for each aura that's attached to a creature when it enters the battlefield. For tutors, we have Heliod's Pilgrim, Light Paws, Emperor's Voice, Open the Armory, and Sterling Grove. Heliod's Pilgrim and Open the Armory are simple fetchers, Light Paws lets us search for an additional aura when we play one, and puts it directly on them. 
Sterling Grove gives our enchantment shroud and can be sacrificed in a pinch to put an enchantment on top of our deck. And if you want to draw like a bazillion cards, get ready for a surprise bulk bin combo. For this combo, you need Mazzy, Unbridled Growth, and Lands. The combo is simple. Have Mazzy and Unbridled Growth on the board, with Unbridled Growth enchanting one of your lands. Tap the land for green mana, then sacrifice Unbridled Growth, drawing a card. Mazzy triggers, exiling Unbridled Growth. Since you have a floating green mana, you can recast it on another one of your lands. The combo is an infinite, but you can repeat it for every green mana you're able to make. You'll also draw extra cards with your Enchantress effects, trigger Constellation effects, and potentially burn the table out with Fuming Effigy. This combo can be yours for one easy payment of 60 cents. Offer not available in Canada. Now back to the deck tech. Moving along to our removal and interaction, we'll start with the beneficial auras. Flame Speaker's Will and Mortal Obstinacy, which will pump our creatures and destroy artifacts or enchantments. Ordeal of Perforos can burn any target with 3 damage and Soul Tithe gives an opponent a very difficult decision. For more permanent forms of removal, we have Bound in Gold, Detention Vortex, and Intercessor's Arrest to lock things down. We're also playing Kenrith's Transformation to Elkify a problematic creature. We're not done yet! There's also the Impetuses! Martial Impetus, Shiny Impetus, and Predatory Impetus. Remember, Mazzy pumps any creature that is enchanted as long as they're attacking an opponent. These will go to any problematic creatures, giving them an extra boost and trample. Skybind has a lot of uses in the deck, from re-triggering enter the battlefield effects on our creatures, to temporarily removing problematic non-enchantment permanents our opponents control, like creatures we don't want blocking our stuff. For board wipes, we have Austere Command and Winds of Wrath. Most of our creatures are small, so Command can remove the larger creatures blocking our way. Also, we're playing zero artifacts in this deck, so we have no issue choosing that mode. Winds of Wrath will destroy every creature that isn't enchanted, clearing a path for us to commence the beatdown. Alright friends, that is our budget Mazzy True Sword Paladin deck. Thank you for watching. Leave us a comment below, let us know what you think, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. The link for the full deck list on Moxfield is in the show notes below. So go ahead and give that a click and take the deck for a spin and play test mode. And if you'd like to support us, go check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash scrap trawlers. Lots of cool benefits, several levels, something for everyone. Take care everyone, and remember, budget before you buy it.